Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of the Key to Keto series where today we're going to be focusing on a sample meal plan. And what I want you to focus on for this sample meal plan as I'm walking you through it, I want you to notice how easy it is to get your fats up and how easy it is to stay within the 75% ratio. One of the biggest mistakes that I see when people are, you know, when people are doing keto or they're thinking they're doing keto is that their fats are not high enough. They're focusing too much on the low carb, the protein, and their fats are not high enough. And what tends to happen is that they're not in ketosis and they're not, they're not losing fat as fast as they should be. They're not seeing the results simply because they're not in ketosis. And it all stems from not getting enough fats. And you know, along with that, another mistake that I see is when they do get their fats up, they usually, usually come to the price of getting the calories too high or adding an extra amount of carbs in there. So I want you to notice and, and, and just focus on how easy it is to get the, uh, your fats up you know, when you're doing keto. It's really not that complicated. And for, two, for this particular sample meal plan, I'm, I'm gonna be putting the, the macros right here and the calories right here so you can see where we're about 130 grams of fat, about 60 grams of protein, and about 20 grams of carbohydrates. And that is adding up to 75%, 20%, and 5% respectively. And again, for for somebody, you know, for somebody my size, so I'm about, not about, I'm, I currently weigh 158. And when I started keto about two months ago, I weighed 170. And my goal is to get down to 155, 150, see if I can squeeze it a little bit more. Uh, it, you know, I don't want to sacrifice too much muscle in the, in the process. But for somebody my size, this is a good amount of calories. Now, this, this, this sample meal plan is meant for you, for the viewer, of course. So I wanted to have a base. So if you're a female uh, watching this and you want to you know, start applying the principles here, if you weigh 170 or more, this particular, this macro breakdown, or the, the, exactly as I'm going to present it to you, it's going to be perfect, okay? Now, and you know, that's, that's going to help you, of course, lose, lose body fat, lose weight at a fast rate. So for, if you're a female starting off with like 170, between 170, uh, 180 or more, then you can use this, these numbers right here. Now, if you're a female, for every 10 pounds that you weigh less from 170, you are simply gonna take 100 calories away from that or one serving. And I'm gonna be putting the serving size, uh, so I'm gonna switch um, I'm gonna switch charts and I'm gonna put the serving size right here. To make it easy, if you don't wanna count calories, that is, uh, you're gonna take away one serving away. And that's usually gonna equal to about 100 calories. So let's say that, you, that you're a female, you weigh 140, you're trying to get to 120. So that's gonna be 300 calories less than this because you're going 300 ca calories less from the base, which is 170, all right? and which is going to be three servings. Now, if you're a female and you weigh, let's say, you know, 250 pounds and, you know, you, you want to lose, you want to lose as much weight as possible, you want to lose body fat, I understand that these numbers uh, are, can be very low for you, they can be very small numbers. Yes, you can do them, but as far as you feeling satisfied, it might not be enough. So your cap for, for calories is going to be the opposite. So for every 10 pounds that you weigh more from one, 180, uh, you're going to add 100 calories. So if you weigh 250 pounds, that's a 70 pound difference. So then you're gonna be adding 700 calories more from this or, so, or, or seven extra servings, okay? Very easy, very straightforward. Now, if you're a guy, it, it's, it, you're pretty much gonna be using me as a reference. So if you weigh 160, between 150 and 160, you're gonna stick with these numbers right here. For every 10 pounds less that you weigh, same thing, you're gonna take 100 calories. For every uh, 10 pounds more that you weigh uh, from one, 160 as a base, then you're going to add 100 calories uh, or you're going to add one serving. So if you're a guy weighing 300 pounds, then your cap is gonna be, so we're starting off at 1,600 calories, you're adding an additional 140, so you're gonna add an additional 1,400 calories, okay? Now, the, the disclaimer here is if you, let's say that you're, you know, just going back to the female exa example, if you're a female and you weigh 240 pounds and these calories right here satisfy you, you don't have to force yourself to eat more. That's the nice thing about keto is that you can eat, uh, you know, less uh, frequently and more than likely once you, if you're doing keto right, if you're doing keto right, more than likely after three, four weeks, 
you are gonna be less hungry and you're probably gonna be satisfied after one or two meals. So again, I'm just giving you a cap, but remember, you wanna eventually aim to eat uh, a little bit less. And with keto, you can do that. Um, if, you're, if your focus is like, am I losing muscle, that sort of thing, these are things I'm gonna address in other videos. Uh, but again, keto is a fat loss diet, it's not a muscle building diet. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, before we get into the, to the sample meal plan, once again, um, we're going to be focusing on how easy it is to get the fats while not getting the calories high. And again, just make sure to subscribe to my channel, uh, leave a comment if, uh, if you have any questions, and make sure to check out the other videos on the Keto Keto series so you can enhance your knowledge on the ketogenic diet. So we're going to be starting out with what could arguably be the best keto meal, the best way to start your keto diet, the best way to start your keto day, just because of the very high fat content. I mean, we're looking at about 40, 45 grams of fat with maybe one gram of net carb, maybe two grams of protein, and, and I'll show you where those are coming from. But this is hands down probably the best way to start keto. And if you're not getting your, if you if you feel like you're not getting enough fats, this is this is the best way to get your fats up. And yes, I do consider this a meal just because of the calories. You can also drink your calories. You don't have to eat them all the time. And you know, just just a good profile of, of fats, especially because of the uh, MCT oil, which I talked about in my previous video. Uh, MCT oil just goes uh, goes straight to the liver and it's converted into ketones, so it kind of helps you out with, with energy levels. So Bulletproof Coffee, I'm going to show you the, the, the way that I like to do it, and if you want to kind of do it similar or change it up a little bit, you're more than welcome to. So you know, we're going to go ahead and start brewing the coffee. And one thing that I like to do is, so I put one tablespoon of the, I can't believe it's not butter, uh, here in my coffee, and I like to just put it in there so it kind of melts in there. Um, so yeah, as you guys can tell, yeah, I, I, I usually I can't believe it's not butter. I, I advocate that a lot in my last video, just because you can play with it a little bit more with with the fat calories. It's not as fatty, but it's not as calorie dense as any other regular butter. And of course, once the coffee is ready, I'm going to be putting a little bit of MCT oil in there, one tablespoon to be exact. I got a little bit of a keto creamer here. And I really like this creamer because it only has 10 calories per tablespoon, which is all I need. And those 10 calories are coming from fat. And my special uh, treat, let's let's call it that, is a Hershey's cocoa. You don't have to put this. Uh, I just put it in there because I kind of like my coffee a little bit, you know, like chocolate flavored. And you know, you do want to make sure you get the 100% uh, cocoa because. Dark chocolate is keto friendly. Uh, chocolate that's been refined and processed, like you know, candy bars, of course, that's not keto friendly. But anything straight from the source is gonna be good. So I'm gonna be adding one tablespoon of that. And I have right here, you know, I'm not gonna be using both, but I wanted to show you what I have for sweeteners. I have a uh, swerve and monk fruit, and I'm just gonna be using the swerve, about a tablespoon of that as my artificial sweetener. And what I think really makes this breakfast, let's call it that, uh, or meal one really complete is a macadamia nut. And I'm doing about one ounce of that just, just because of the crunch and because, you know, <laughs> Although you can drink your calories, I also I, I want to feel like I'm eating something too. And this is just quick and easy, especially if you're if you're on the go, uh, if you're in a hurry, um, and you just want to drink your coffee and just kind of eat your, your your nuts. It's just it's very convenient. So, and the nuts themselves, you know, about one ounce is uh, about 20 grams of fat. Uh, 200 calories total, about one gram of protein, which is where the protein is coming from, and about one gram of net carb. So the coffee is ready, and here's how I like to prepare it. So once the coffee is ready, uh, I'm just gonna add one tablespoon of the MCT coconut oil. Okay, so we already have the butter melting in there, which is really nice. So, and then once we have that, I'm gonna add a little bit of the cream. Actually, before I add the creamer, I want to add my chocolate so it kind of starts to melt there and I usually use about a tablespoon um, just to give it that nice chocolatey flavor for my coffee and then just mix it for a little bit oh this is really nice and then looks really dark Let's see if it gets, yeah so it looks kind of dark a little bit of butter chunks in there but they eventually do melt and I actually like to taste the butter in the coffee it tastes really good if you guys are watching this and thinking that I'm crazy this is one of those don't knock it till you try it you know situations because 
yeah, butter in your coffee sounds wrong, but <laughs> once you've had it, oh my god, it's really, really good. So I'm going to put a little bit of the creamer in there, probably about a tablespoon and a half. And then just to top it all off, we're going to be doing the swerve. And I'm going to be doing about one tablespoon of that. If I get this bag opened up. There we go. So we're going to be throwing one tablespoon of the swerve in here. And make sure that you mix it very thoroughly. Just because, and this is me liking my stuff really sweet, by the way. You don't have to put a whole tablespoon. You could just do two teaspoons or something like that. Um, I do like to taste a little bit of sweetness in there. Especially with the dark chocolate, it can be a little bit bitter. And look at that. Right here, about 220 calories, about 25 grams of just straight up fat. And then my macadamia nuts right there. So oh, let me put it right here where we can see it. So there we go. So we got the coffee, and then oops, and then we got the macadamia nuts. So that's gonna be our meal one of the day. I'm gonna be showing you how to do a keto omelet uh, the proper way, and of course the big. The big theme of this sample meal plan day is to show you how you can get your fats up and making sure that you're sticking to the 75% uh, ratio as much as possible while being, you know, you know, fairly decent with your calories and you know, staying within a, a good amount. Uh, so yeah, the the way that we're gonna get our, our fats up, you know, with this particular meal, it's not just gonna be the avocado oil, but it's gonna be the egg yolks. So if you guys remember from the from the guide, uh, which I'm gonna be putting, you know, the chart here again. Uh, you know for two egg yolks and one whole egg that's gonna count as, as as one fat source so what I did here is I'm doing of course a two egg yolks and then one whole egg but on top of that I added one more egg uh, just so that would be my protein source so we're looking at a total of four egg yolks and we have so we have four egg yolks but then out of those four uh, there's there's only two whole eggs okay so we're looking at about maybe 12 grams of protein, but we're looking at about 20 grams of fat just right here. And then I'm gonna be using about half a tablespoon of avocado oil to fry up my vegetables. So yeah, let me show you the ingredients. So we have the, you know, the four, uh, the four eggs right here. Four of those are, are yolk. And then I'm gonna be using some black pepper, of course, to season it. And then salt, of course, you can't forget that. Again, it's very important that you get your sodium uh, along with your magnesium, potassium, and your and a multivitamin because you are going to be losing a lot of electrolytes especially if you're just starting keto uh, the avocado oil like i said one of the best fat sources that you can use on keto along with the mct coconut oil or the uh, extra virgin olive oil and then right here you know just uh frozen vegetables you know if you're if you're somebody that has a busy schedule you're in a hurry hey you don't have to you know take the time to chop vegetables and you know cut them up and that sort of thing you could just buy things like this and you know, throw them in your omelet, it's gonna taste just as good. And I'm gonna be using one cup of this right here. And then, right here, of course, the leafy vegetables are probably, you know, just as important. So I'm gonna be using about a cup and a half of spinach. Actually, two cups, because, you know, once you cook spinach, it really shrinks. So I mean, you can really get away with as much spinach as you want. And yeah, with the leafy uh, greens or the leafy vegetables, you wanna be doing about five or six cups of that a day. And this is a great way to, you know, get some of that in there. Um, not only that, but it's gonna help you stay full just in case, uh, you know, this meal is not, uh, it's not satisfying enough. And then I got my, uh, my processed proteins right here. So I have uh, one ounce of bacon, I have one ounce of sausage, and then half an ounce of Canadian bacon. So it's about two and a half ounces. I just added a little extra just because my calories and my fats are, uh, you know, I'm doing pretty good for the day. And then even with the next meal that I'm gonna be doing, and even with dessert, I'm gonna be within the 1600 calories. So I decided, why not? Let's add a little bit of extra flavor. So, yeah, so notice, first of all, you know, I'm prioritizing, you know, the fats, of course, a little bit of protein in there. Again, protein is not the priority, it's high fat. And then, of course, I've got the avocado oil, and then the vegetables should be your next big priority. As you can tell, I have my uh, pepper and onion blend along with my baby spinach, and then my salt and my black pepper for flavor. Preparation is going to be fairly easy, so it's going to be nothing uh, nothing too complicated. Um, so 
you know, especially with the egg yolk omelette, it's very easy to cook. So I'm going to start out with uh, half a tablespoon of avocado oil. And that's just going to give us about an additional five grams of fat. And I'm using that just so I can fry up some of the vegetables. Uh, and again, I'm, I'm using frozen vegetables. Um, just, just to show you guys that, you know, keto can be very convenient. And, and it is very convenient. You don't have to be, you know, doing everything, everything fresh. Although I do recommend it, of course, you want to be cooking as fresh and as well as possible. But, you know, if you're using stuff like this, like, hey, you know, uh, I understand that, you know, people are busy and, you know, things like this can really help you out. So, yeah, we're going to start with the vegetables. We're going to fry them up for about, I don't know, for about 30 seconds. Just let them just get a little bit of, uh, of brown and then we're going to add the bacon. So, once the vegetables have... You know, cook for a little bit. Um, I'm gonna start adding the proteins now, it's just the bacon, uh, but both or all of the proteins in here, just because I want the the bacon to be a little crunchy and make sure that the sausage is thoroughly cooked. And then same thing with the Canadian bacon. And if you guys haven't cooked Canadian bacon before, uh, just be aware that it does uh, it it's it's very oily and it jumps uh, like when you're cooking it. There's a lot of like oil just like jumping out. So just be aware of that and then we're gonna leave that for a few minutes just a couple of minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and whisk the eggs right now and then add the black pepper and the garlic salt about two minutes since this has been cooking so yeah the omelet doesn't take too long to cook if you leave it on high especially if you're cooking it with the vegetables like the meats are gonna cook a lot quicker if you want to, of course, you know, you want to have your bacon be a little bit, you know, crunchier, then you just leave it in for a little bit longer. But, you know, I think it's about time to start adding the spinach. So I'm going to be adding about a cup and a half of spinach. Uh, again, if you feel like this particular meal isn't going to, uh, uh, might not satisfy you or might not be enough, you can always add more vegetables. You can always add an extra cup of the, of the, uh, of the vegetable mix or, or the leafy greens. So like in this case, I'm doing a full cup and a half. And like right now it looks like it like a lot, but once once you start cooking it, you'll notice that the spinach is going to shrink. And one quick tip on, on keto, you wanna make sure that whenever you have spinach on keto, you always cook it. And because when, with, uh, with spinach, if you have it raw, it's gonna have a little bit of a, more of a, a stranger effect on your body. So just make sure that you're always cooking spinach uh, whenever you're doing it, whenever you're having it on keto. So try not to have like a spinach salad. Try to just always cook your spinach with your with your meats or with, with whatever dish you're having. So just make sure that it's that it's cooked or uh, steamed or whatever. So there we go. So once the spinach is uh, cooked in there, and actually I think I'm gonna give it about another minute just let the bacon uh, get a little bit uh, get a little bit crispier. All right, so it's time to add the eggs now. I think it's about time. And look at that. That mixture looks really, really good. So this is what, like a kind of like a meat lovers omelet type of thing with some vegetables. Then we're gonna add the egg yolk mix. And notice again. So I, I know I'm probably gonna sound like a broken record here, but again, the most important thing on keto is you want to make sure you're getting your fats up. Keto is not just low carb. It is low carb, of course, but you also want to make sure that you're getting your fats up uh, as much as possible. And again, I'm gonna put the chart here again, but for uh, you know, for somebody my size, uh, I want to get about eight full servings of fat throughout the day. Uh, and on the first meal, you know, with the with the bulletproof coffee, I already had about uh, that was about three servings, and right here I'm getting about another three. So. Um, yeah, that's that's just really important. On the last meal, which is going to be dinner, we're going to be getting another two, uh, you know, fat sources with that meal. And you know, I started at 170, 170 pounds. I'm trying to cut to 150 right now. I'm at 155, 156. And you got to realize that as you're getting leaner, or as as you're getting smaller, and this goes for anybody out there, as you're getting smaller, you have to remember that every week you're going to be losing less body fat. So if you're trying to compare yourself with, you know, you saw on TV that somebody did keto and they lost 20 pounds in the first three days or whatever, you know, uh, nonsense they're making up. You gotta keep into 
you got you, you got to take into account how much they weigh and how much you weigh compared to them. So if you're let's say a female and you weigh 160 pounds and you want to lose 10 pounds of of fat on keto every week, it's just not realistic. So you know in that particular case, you're going to be aiming for about half a pound to a pound a week. Okay. So. Yeah, so let's finish cooking this omelet and then we'll move on to the next meal. So obviously I'm a fraud for being a cook. I couldn't get the omelet to flip, so yeah, it looks more like a scramble. It doesn't, uh, I'm sure this is gonna make a great thumbnail, but anyways, yeah, so the, here's the omelet right here. Yeah, it burned a little bit, but still looks and smells delicious and you know so yeah right there we're looking at about 450 calories and you know what since i'm a little bit ocd just to make it even at 500 here's what i'm gonna do put a little bit of cheese in there and i know the normal thing to do here would be to get some cheese and sh you know shred it up or something but i like my craft singles in my omelet just like that so i'm gonna give it a few minutes for it to melt with the heat of the omelet and yeah, this is meal number two. Again, make sure that you uh, check out the uh, the macro so you can see exactly how much fat. But this right here is dominated by fat still, just because of the uh, or thanks to the, the dominance in in the egg yolk. All right, so for the last meal of the day. We're gonna be doing five ounces of salmon, two tablespoons of the I can't believe it's not butter. And again, if you haven't watched the other videos, uh, or you know, just to kind of go back on, you know, um, you know, from the bulletproof coffee, the reason why I prefer this over regular butter is because even though it's pure fat, it's gonna be less calories per tablespoon, so you can always adjust it a little bit more. So with this one, I'm gonna be doing two tablespoons of butter whereas if I were to use ghee or regular butter which by the way nothing wrong with that um, it would be the same amount for one tablespoon with that whereas this one it's gonna be two tablespoons so you know I just it, this is just more like you know versatility um, so that I can have more buttery for for more amount essentially so uh, so yeah two tablespoons of the I can't believe it's not butter and frozen broccoli and I think without really intending to not only is this video, uh, you know, turning into like a, it, it, not only is this video about, you know, making sure that you get your fats up, but it's also about how you can do certain things on keto and make it very convenient for yourself. So like for example, there's nothing wrong with getting frozen vegetables. So instead of getting two cups of broccoli, like raw bro broccoli, I'm just going to get it frozen. So my two cups of broccoli are going to be just coming from, from a frozen bag. And yeah, so right now I'm putting some seasonings in there just to... Uh, you know, for the salmon, so putting in again a little bit of salt, um, black pepper, and then you know, Creole seasoning. Uh, that's just personal preference, just for a little bit of extra flavor. And yeah, that's gonna be meal uh, number three for the day. And I think I'm actually gonna have a side salad with this. And I'm just gonna put you know another two or three cups of just leafy greens in there, just you know, just lettuce, um, you know, just uh, you know, just a mixture of like you know other leafy greens in there just for satiety again that one's completely optional but what i'm going to be doing with that one so i don't temper with the uh, with the calories i'm just going to use a a uh, a calorie free or a, a low calorie season, uh, dressing so that i'm not adding extra fat so this is one of those cases where yeah you can use like a fat free or low calorie dressing if it's not part of like the calories that you want to use because i'd rather get my fats from butter or the salmon as opposed to a ranch or some other type of like dressing now if i were doing like three ounces of salmon then yeah i could get away with like maybe two tablespoons of ranch or even the extra virgin olive oil which is great and you know, lastly, before we start, you know, cooking, again, notice, you know, the fat priority, you know, I'm using a pure fat source right here, and then this one, you know, fish, is a, it's a fatty protein, so, you know, in the hierarchy of how you should be setting up your keto meal plan, fatty fish falls as number three, so we have that in here, and then, of course, vegetables is number two, and then there's no dairy here, there's no processed meats, there's no uh, extras or anything like that, this is... Uh, this is probably like one of the best like keto meals like you know food wise that you can do for yourself when you're on keto so about 12 minutes later salmon is ready and so salmon cooked with one tablespoon of the I can't believe it's not butter 
And like I told you, I was going to be using two tablespoons of the, I can't believe it's not butter, so I'm going to be using the second one right now. And had you been doing this with regular butter or ghee, you would not be able to get away with the same uh, with the same amounts, unless of course you're, you weigh a little bit more and you know you can add those additional 100 calories. Um, but yeah, in this case, yeah, I'm going to be using an extra tablespoon of, I can't believe it's not butter, and I'm just going to let it sit there. That's just, you don't have to do that, you can just melt it, you know, while the uh, uh, broccoli is, is heating up in the microwave. But, you know, I kind of just like to have the butter just melt with the, with the heat. So, we're going to put that on the side. So we have five ounces of cooked salmon, which is going to be about 275 calories, and about 20, 25 grams of fat, 20 grams of protein, uh, two grams of net carb with the two cups of broccoli, uh, an additional five, six grams of fat with the butter, and yeah, with the the leafy greens, as you can tell, I have two cups right here as uh, just just for extra. Just I just wanted to show you how you can, just in case this is not filling you up, how you can add more volume to your meal without adding calories, and especially if you're sticking to the guidelines of you know five to six cups of uh, leafy greens. One or two cups of, of, uh, of whole greens and then the other vegetables which I already use for the omelet. This is going to help you with, with satiety. Now, I'm not using regular Italian or like the extra virgin olive oil because I've already, you know, kind of capped all of my, my fats for the day. So what I'm going to be doing just for this particular case, this, this isn't something you have to do on keto because you again you want to get your fats up so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna be using a fat free low calorie dressing so I can ha add some flavor to my you know to my salad uh, now had this been a three ounce salmon or let's say that you weigh 20 more pounds than I do then yeah you can use two tablespoons of ranch of extra virgin olive oil but again if you're sticking to my guidelines uh, and let's say that you're you know you weigh the same as I do or if you're a female you weigh 10 more pounds and you're sticking to the same amount of calories this is what you want to do but again I'm using this to add flavor to the salad because I don't want to use more calories at the moment so I'm just going to use a little bit of this about two tablespoons um, of the low calorie Italian and I already put some extra Creole into the salmon. I'm gonna put a little bit of extra salt. So again, on keto, don't be afraid of using a little bit of extra sodium because you're gonna be losing a lot, uh, a lot of electrolytes, a lot of sodium, magnesium, potassium, you know, with keto. So, um, I mean, at the same time, you don't wanna go crazy and just get like the white table salt and just use, you know, three tablespoons a day. You know, I'm using garlic salt because it's a little bit more diluted. Same thing if you're using the Himalayan salt, you want to use that one instead. And then black pepper, of course, you know, that's not, that's not even a question on can you use it on keto. You absolutely can. Um, so a little bit of black pepper. We have, um, yeah, we, so again, we have our salmon, our broccoli with butter, and then we have our salad uh, for meal three. So. So we still have a few calories uh, that, that we can spare for the day. No, I'm not advocating that you need to eat all of your calories on keto if you are full, you know, like if you can only eat half of a meal or you can only eat two meals, that's that's totally fine. That's actually better. You know, one of the things that you want to eventually work up to when you're doing keto is you want to reduce your meal frequency, uh, you know, possibly two meals. Um, so yeah, so but you know if if you if you don't happen to be if you're not satisfied you're still hungry, like for example for today we still have a few calories that we can spare we have about, about 200 calories that we can spare. Now, in and of itself the you know the keto day was was pretty good you know the like, you know I put the ratios up you know we did about 76 77 percent fat you know 20 percent protein very little carb, and that's how you wanna that's what you wanna aim for with all your days. Now, the reason I'm bringing that up is. Because you know when you have days like this where you're keeping everything clean and you know you're you're doing your fats you know you're doing your yolks your fish you know your fatty proteins and you want to give yourself a treat by all means give yourself a treat and so for this meal plan I'm gonna include a Atkins uh, you know treat which is this one is strawberry cheesecake and you know it's three grams of net carb which says right here on the label and you know if we look at the nutrition facts it has eight grams of fat. 
three grams of net carb, you know, we minus the, the, the fiber, the, uh, the sugar, alcohols, and seven grams of protein. So I'm gonna be plugging that in into the, into the, the whole day's worth just so that we can have it all in there. And even then we're still gonna be a little bit short of calories, which is perfect. Now, my big disclaimer here is, and this is a thing that I tell a lot of my clients is, you don't wanna be the person that is doing this every single day for every single meal. These are things that you want to use as treats, as your, um, as like your, as your reserve, as your backup. You don't want to be the person that's doing, uh, you know, like four, ke you know, four keto Atkins bars throughout the day, and then like a keto protein shake that you found at the, the supplement store. You don't want to be doing that. You want to be getting your calories from food. Again, these are things that are meant to be used as treats, as you know, your reward. If you're having something sweet, hey, even if you. If you stick to the calories that we did for today and say that you wanted a little extra sweet, you can add this. You can definitely have this. Like you can have two of them, is what I'm saying. You can have you can definitely have two of these instead of just the one. But nonetheless, with with all the food that we've had today, with the with the egg yolk omelet, with the bulletproof coffee, with uh, with the salmon, I mean, all of that was pretty feeling in and of itself. And you know, if you want to like let's say cut half. Uh, cut down, you know, on on your omelet and do half of it and do two of these. You can, you know, you could get away with those things, in, uh, you know, once in a while. But the most important thing is, uh, you know, going off the the keto hierarchy of foods. You don't want to be doing the extra, like the keto friendly stuff, too much because what could happen is they're keto friendly, but they are not keto themselves. There's yeah, there's fat, there's protein, there's low carb, but this is not keto. This is not the same as having salmon with with. with uh, extra virgin olive oil it's not the same as having you know a taco salad with extra avocado and extra butter that sort of thing these are things that are going to be helpful on keto but they're not going to um enhance the keto diet or make sure that you are losing you know weight in a, at a fast rate these are just things to help you not have the bad stuff so one of these once a day every other day and i'll be giving you more examples of, of these particular items on the other sample meal plans so for this one like i said you know one, one of the themes of today was you know convenience which is you know like making everything on the go like the macadamia nuts like the like the coffee so boom uh, atkins bar something you could buy treat late at night you want to snack on something boom there you go you can have this